Melbourne's Metro Tunnel project has marked a major milestone. The first part of the project is open to the public, involving not trains, but trams. Now taking passengers, Melbourne's first integrated tram and train stop is ready for business above Anzac Station as part of the Metro Tunnel project. It is going to literally transform the way people get around our city. More than 30,000 commuters work within the St Kilda Road corridor every day. There's nine tram lines that run through here. You'll be able to get off a tram, go and jump on a train and either go through to Dandenong one way, Sunbury the other way or indeed go to the airport. We'll be running test trains toward the end of next year. Uh, and will be open in 2025. By then, the state's newest members of parliament will have had three years in the job. Today, the class of 2022 had their orientation day. It's very, very overwhelming and exciting. Learning about how the parliament works, procedures, processes. I can remember uh, there's a great sense of excitement. Tomorrow, the new parliament will be officially opened by the governor and MPs will sit for one day so the government can introduce legislation before the first full sitting week in February. The shadow cabinet also holding its first meeting today. Both sides of politics ready for 2023. We had a, a difficult election which is now behind us. We're focused on the future now, holding the Andrews Labor government to account. Sarah Jones, 7 News.